I'm Jessica Alstrom, owner of Transcendence Wellness Center. Transcendence Wellness Center is a wellness center that is um, an education facility about personal processing and self-awareness. We focus on the root cause of pain and suffering here, not just physically, but emotionally and chemically. Uh, I have been urged by my guidance uh, to deliver weekly messages uh, starting this week. And those weekly messages will be um, impartial to what's going on in your own personal life um, and in collective consciousness as things, time, and events begin to speed up in our lives. We're having a lot of um, old childhood friends and old relationships come back to the surface this month. We're having a lot of old themes resurface. Uh, we're being urged to take action in our lives and speak our truth and follow our joy and bliss. And, and how do we do that? So the weekly messages are going to be geared towards hopefully giving you guys a little bit of awareness of where you are, what's going on, so that you don't feel so crazy, and also maybe a tool um, that we can use week to week uh, in our own personal process and journey. So today I want to talk to you guys about the personal process and how important it is now more than ever that you begin to really so focus within. Uh, that is not selfish, that is self-focus, and it is more important now than it has ever been. So um, what this looks like to us at Transcendence and collectively is that um, when we have our awakening, we are moving into self-awareness. We are becoming self-aware. And it is the same self-awareness that we had when we were born. We have this same self-awareness. We begin to look around and observe our life and put the pieces together of what it all means to be here on this planet and have a physical body. Self-awareness is about observing and reflecting and creating meaning with that self-awareness. When we create meaning, we are adding emotion. I mean, we are actually, that's what is happening is when we have a feeling and we add meaning to it, that is actually what emotion is. So the emotion is our guidance system that's supposed to be letting us know where we're supposed to be going. So emotion is supposed to be felt right now. We're no longer in the new age of let's feel good. We're in the age of let's feel our feelings. It's really important, and if you're constantly giving yourself away, asking for advice, needing some help outside of you, you're not really going to need know what you need and want. And this is where the journey is right now, is what do you need and what do you want, and who are you and what do you want to become and do with your life. We're all feeling that purpose. What are we doing here? What, what's my purpose? Well, I want to kind of... Um, strip down some layers for you guys today so that you can see why you might be blocked uh, because if you're not moving forward at this point in time with the energy on the planet there is a reason why and I drew a little diagram uh, I'm not an artist and I'm not very neat uh, but the diagram shows us exactly how we can be blocked very easily and how we can uh, move through that basically in the center of this drawing is I just drew a I am consciousness which is the consciousness that you are, the consciousness that is focused on your physical reality, the consciousness that's holding your body together with atoms and molecules. Everything that is your reality is you focusing on that idea of your life. So that's you in the center point, okay? Now throughout your life, that first moment of self-awareness, um, you observed and you observed your conditions and uh, rules that were around you and you developed belief systems. So these little, this little spiral that I have drawn here is uh, belief systems. And these belief systems are usually deeply ingrained into uh, reality as we perceive it from ages zero to seven years old. That's one seven year cycle where we really develop ideas of what life is and what love is and who we need to be in order to get those things, to get love, to get nurturing, to get acceptance. So we actually alter our awareness to be what our environment needs us to be. Unfortunately, that removes us from being authentic. Uh, who we decided to come in as, what, what our role on the planet was, what our purpose was going to be. We actually knew that very, very early on, and we, were, we learned to um, not focus on ourselves and focus on everybody else around us in order for us to be taken care of. The most common core belief systems that are created as children, zero to seven, is I'm not good enough. Um, I am not seen for who I am. I am not heard for who I am. Uh, I'm not free to be myself, right? Um, and I'm not safe, or I don't have what I need. 
these core beliefs become the point of attraction. They begin to be reflected all throughout our lives. And the issue is, is we become adults and we rise above the childhood conditioning, but the childhood conditioning is very much part of our um, energetic system. It's very much a part of our biochemistry. Our body physically believes that we are not good enough. Our body physically believes that we're not safe. And that's where anxiety comes from. That's where the triggers come from. Your body's having a biochemical reaction to a belief system that's patterned in your energy system. So, what we usually do as adults is we don't want to feel these feelings. So we go out and we get educated. We go out and get tons of certifications. We go out and become a Reiki master. We go out and get a master's degree and a PhD. And we thrive at work and we we create a home and we uh, go to the gym and we try to eat well and all of those things are laced with those core beliefs of I'm not good enough, I'm not seen, I'm not safe. So there's aspects of our lives that begin to reflect those core beliefs in the work that we're doing. So I might be a Reiki master and I am completely broke. I have no money to pay my bills. So that would be education plus core belief system manifesting a physical reality where you're not living your purpose. Uh, another one would be, um, you know, not feeling good enough at work, always getting passed over for the for the uh, the raises or the promotions, or not being appreciated in your own home, um, not having a voice with your spouse. These are all things that we manifest through our core beliefs. So going out and getting education and training and the better job and the better relationship and the bigger house will actually serve you less purpose instead of just going back in and changing some of these core beliefs and focusing on the personal process, which is a lot of teachers are calling the shadow aspects of ourselves. Anything that we are not um, looking at within ourselves, our own secrets, our own insecurities, our own flaws that we feel are holding us back, we can't out-train that. We can't run away from those things because those are the things that are being projected in the now and those are the things that are being asked to clear. So I asked you guys this week, instead of going out and making that class a priority, make yourself the priority. Sit down with yourself and ask yourself, do I feel seen? Do I feel loved? Am I nurtured? Do I have the things that I need in my life? And if not, where is that coming from? 90% uh, of the time it's coming from childhood. So a lot of this work can be done within yourself about just reestablishing a friendship with yourself, reestablishing a connection with yourself, and asking yourself these big questions. I want to move over to the second part of today. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, right now, we're in the process of a very fast evolution on the, pro uh, on the planet, and the world is waking up. Um, we can see that on Facebook, we can see that with lots more organic grocery stores going up, we can see that with new schools coming to the surface. We see the change. We feel it. We're all waking up. That's that point of self-awareness where we begin to question reality. Okay? Wow. Hmm. Do I have a choice? As we begin to question reality, we manifest situations that create self-exploration. So usually the greatest way for humans to learn is through struggle or maybe it's something that appears negative. So we begin to self-explore. That's when we wake up and we begin taking classes and we begin reading books and we begin meeting other people who are like-minded and we begin to um, see the world differently. That would be the exploration part. Then we go into self-discovery where we actually try these things. We begin to become the energy worker. We become the massage therapist. We become the counselor. We become the teacher. And we get to see ourselves through that new aspect. Then we move up to self-understanding, which is being the teacher and the student at the same time in your reality and starting to look at the shadow aspect. The shadow aspect is all the things that we hide within ourselves that are projected in our world around us. Self-love. This is where most people are right now, is they're working toward that. Self-love is all about being authentic and not judging yourself for it. Uh, the world will constantly judge you until you stop judging yourself. So to be a spiritual person in a, uh, on a planet that is still um, dense 
can be difficult at times, but once we were let go of that self-judgment and start self-nurturing and giving ourselves the self-focus that we need and working through our personal process, we connect with self-love and anchor ourselves in collective consciousness as love, and only from then we can move into mastery. So no certifications or classes or anything is actually going to give you the mastery. What is actually going to be happening is you're going through a journey of self. Everything is about you. Everything is about what you need, what you want, where you are, where you want to be, and desire and challenge and focus and relationships and body issues. Those are all the teachers right now. Our greatest teachers right now on the planet is time management. What do you do with it? Do you have time for you? How is your health? That's your second teacher. How is the health of your body? If your body is in alignment with um, thriving and um, healing itself, there's some aspect of you that is disconnected from yourself. Uh, relationships. Relationships are our greatest reflections. We can find out exactly who, where our greatest inspirations and where our biggest challenges are just in the people around us. And it's all about us. And um, the last one is money and abundance. Do you have what you need to create your own reality? And if you don't have that, it's from a core belief somewhere on your timeline that is saying that you don't feel safe or nurtured. So instead of going out and working more hours at the job, move back into self and find out where that belief system was created and shift that view of perspective so that you can align with everything that you need and want because everything is being generated from you. Your entire reality is just a reflective process of one of these degrees of self-awareness. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, please uh, visit our website. We've got tons of videos and, and um, radio recordings of more information like this. We do classes and workshops here. We do private counseling, and we do um, a lot of neural pathway uh, reentrainment with the brain to get the brain and the body communicating and get your body out of fight or flight. Uh, take a look at us online, and we hope to hear from you soon, and I will see you guys next week with a message.